girl Brittany and I'm back with another video. So I know I've been gone for a while. I posted a video, what, two, almost three weeks ago. And then before that it was a month ago and I was posting every week. But yeah, let me tell y'all what happened and where I've been. So August 25th of 26th, we evacuated for Hurricane Laura because we got hit and affected by Hurricane Laura. And um, we evacuated and we went to Dallas and we went and stayed, we went and stayed with some family for a while. And my sister, she was with her wife and they went and got an Airbnb with her um, side of the family and everything. So they stayed in the Airbnb for about a week because they, um, they evacuated before us. And uh, they ended up going to Houston to be closer uh back to louisiana so that we can come and like check on our houses and everything like that so um she was like her brother-in-law was gonna pay for all their rooms and pay for all of our rooms so we can come to the hotel in houston with them which was the stay bridge in downtown houston and so uh we went and we stayed there for maybe like a week or so Probably so, probably like a week. So we were going back and forth from Houston to Lake Charles, which is where we stay. Um, going back and forth, like just checking on our house to see if we had lights. Uh, we didn't have lights for like a whole month, y'all. We didn't come, like we evacuated September, no, August, August 25th or the 26th, and we didn't come back until September 25th. So that's how long we were, we were out without, we were without lights. So, um, Anyway, after we went from Houston, we ended up call, finding a number because at first FEMA was not helping us with anything on like uh, hotel costs or nothing like that. Neither was Red, Car Red Cross helping with anything. And so then we ended up finding a number that was like, I guess, Texas taking care of it or like just the Dallas area of Texas was taking care of um, all hotel costs for the people that was affected by Hurricane Laura. So we called that number and we ended up getting uh, a hotel in Fort Worth at the Radisson. Yeah. And so we were there for, I think we left on the 6th. Yeah. The 6th. I don't know, but I know the last day was the 16th that we stayed at the Radisson. At the Radisson, we got um, hot meals. So, okay, at State Bridge, we had to cook food, which was good, too. Cook. And then they had pots and plates and everything for us. And I thought that was real cool because I never seen nothing like that at a hotel that gave you um, they gave you a kitchen. But everybody was like, that, yeah, they're supposed to give you that. I didn't know. <laughs> and so, uh, we cooked over there and everything. So, that was cool. But at the Radisson... Um, you got three meals a day, uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and it was all like hot foods. The only thing about it was like the five things that you got to pick from for lunch was the same five things that you picked for picked for dinner. And you're like, look, I'm gonna get tired of that, but they were helping us. I was grateful. So um, the 16th came. Yeah, okay, it was crazy. Okay, so we were trying to figure out where we were gonna go. So the 15th came and we're calling the number back that we, that we called to get the hotel for the Radisson. And they were like, well, we're not giving any hotels away. And we were like, what are you talking about? Like, where are we supposed to go? People were saying that well, we can call this number to get a hotel. So the guy's like, you need to call back at midnight to get, really? Hold on, yeah, my camera's about to die. All right, y'all, I'm back. Y'all ain't telling my my puff was like all oh, crazy looking but yeah the um so when midnight came me and my uh my fiance were calling the um we're calling the number and we on hold like that that's what used to piss me off about calling that number was like you be on hold for the longest you're trying to get in touch with somebody and then we had see And we had five like different groups in like our family that had to get their own had to get their own room. So we needed five rooms. No, six rooms. We had to get six rooms. And so um we finally got in touch with somebody. It was like 1 30, almost two o'clock in the morning when we finally got in touch with somebody. And um we were like, uh, we got all of our stuff and we were like, well, we have like five other people that need to uh, 
get reservations and stuff like that. And the guy's like, oh, well, you need to call back. No, 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 no. <laughs> we ain't calling, no. We ain't calling back. Like, we need to make sure we all get the same hotel because we're all, like, we family. We're all together. And so we're like, no, like, we need to be able to uh, t tell you everybody's stuff. Like, we were, we were able to do that with the other people that we talked to. Like, can we, can we not do that with you? And, like, I don't know. I guess he was, like, confused on what we were asking. But then he ended up understanding what we were talking about. And then we ended up getting the rooms. And so we ended up going to the Hyatt Regency in downtown Dallas. And some, somewhere in between Dallas and Fort Worth. No, Dallas and Houston. Somewhere in between Dallas and Houston, we ended up getting these right here. These bands. Mine's all like worn out. I don't even know if you can see it. My band's all worn out because I've been taking showers and stuff with it. And what is this? Just October and I still have it on. <laughs> but I wanted to make a video with it on so y'all can see that. You know, I'm not lying. And y'all can also look up. So I don't know if I'm going to put any um, videos or pictures of like everything that's going on out here because it's still bad. But um, if y'all want to look it up, y'all can look up uh, Lake Charles. Hurricane Laura destruction y'all can see all that stuff but anyway uh so then we end we end up getting to the Hyatt the next day on the 16th so yeah it was like 1 30 2 o'clock in the morning on the 16th that we called to get the um to get the reservation and you had 24 hours until that reservation canceled itself so uh we left at like 10 that morning from Fort Worth to go to downtown Dallas. And y'all, <laughs> when we got there, there was nothing but the people. Like, basically, it was like nothing but Lake Charles at the Hyatt. Um, and we were like, we were trying to figure out, like, where do we where do we park? Where do we go in at? And everything like that. And the guy was like, we have over 800 people checking in today. And um, y'all can park down here. It's free parking. And he was like, but y'all need to go inside. And get your uh get your rooms and everything like that and there was a long line we had to end up going to talk to uh red cross it was it was crazy out and so um once we got all that uh once we got all that together we had if y'all if you ever go to the hyatt downtown hyatt regency downtown dallas that hill was no joke y'all okay <laughs> so we had to uh we had to go park in this parking lot that was like down the hill and me and my fiance went to go get all of, all of the luggage for us and for my mom because she couldn't go down down the uh, hill with her knees and i don't know why we didn't leave our son with my mama <laughs> but trying to come up that hill with luggage and trying to push push him up, up the stroller up the hill i was like never again but uh so after all that was done, we ended up coming back, like I said, on September uh, 25th. And then, yeah, I guess what happened? Another hurricane came. <laughs> Another hurricane came and hit us. And this time, it was Hurricane Delta. Um, Y'all can look up the destruction for that stuff, too. I don't know if you're really going to be able to tell the difference because... Because... Um, we had already just got here from Laura. There was all kind of blue tarps on roofs and stuff. There still is now. If I go right around before I post this video, I, I'll probably show y'all. But if not, just, just look it up. But yeah, there's nothing but debris, blue tarps on people's roofs, houses completely gone, roofs off. Like, it's real bad. Like, people, like I'm happy that we actually have a place to stay still. Nothing happened to um, our apartments. But where I stay, there's like maybe six six to ten more of their apartment complexes down the street and they're pretty much all like good like nobody can stay there no more and that was also one thing that they were doing yeah they were wrong for this they were um if people were like living in those um apartments and they weren't livable anymore they weren't like telling people like their deadline on when to get stuff out they were just putting people's stuff out on the road and people were coming back like to try and get into their apartment and get whatever they can and they stuff to the street like who does like no <laughs> we we would have been fighting but um yeah we uh when did we evacuate for delta i don't know 
Delta hit on a Thursday. We got, let me see. I took a picture of it when we got the mandatory evacuation for Delta. I don't think I took a picture of it when we got it for, when we got it for, um, for Laura. Okay, it was October 7th when we evacuated. Uh, let me see. Yeah, I can see that. You can read it real quick or pause it and see that it's for Hurricane Delta and everything. But yeah, that's uh see it was like it was at five forty in the afternoon when uh when we got that uh that thing. So everybody evacuated the next day and that was a Wednesday, so everybody evacuated on that Thursday and Delta hit that Friday. And we weren't um we weren't evacuated long from Delta maybe a week. We went straight to Houston. Oh, what was that first hotel we went to? Something Hilton. I don't know. It was like a high scale um, hotel, but it wasn't even nice. I don't have no, um, I don't have any pictures or videos, nothing from when we stayed in all the hotels. Um, and then why, why in Texas y'all don't have like microwaves in y'all uh, hotels? Like, I guess like the fancy ones, I don't know about like the regular hotels, but all the hotels we stayed at, they have no um, microwaves in them except for the Radisson had one, and of course they bridge. But like um, the Hyatt, they didn't have no, um, no microwaves in the room. You had to go downstairs, and there was only like two or three downstairs, and there's over 800 people here. Well, more than that, because people are having more people in their room. And then this the Hilton, I don't know what it was, because we stayed in there one night, and then we left, and we went and stayed at um, Extended Stay America, somewhere in Houston. I don't know what part, I don't remember, but I remember it was uh, Extended Stay America. But anyway, we stayed at the Hilton for that one night, and it was not nice at all, they had roaches and everything. And then we ended up uh, going to Extended State. And then my uh, my fiance was like, uh, what's his name? NBA Youngboy was there. And I was like, oh, for real? He was like, yeah, you didn't see him? And I was like, no. And he was like, yeah, he was sitting at the table. Uh, he was sitting at the table when we came out. And I was like, oh, I don't know. I ain't him. <laughs> And he, and he was talking about he came out asking them for um, an iPhone charger. And so I was like, what? He came out asking for an iPhone charger. He got all this money and he ain't got no iPhone charger. I was like, that probably wasn't him. He was like, no, I'm telling you it was him. I was just like, okay. I ain't seen him, so I don't know. <laughs> but then we ended up going to, uh, like I said, the extended stay. That was, um, uh, it had a kitchen in it too, and we cooked over there. And I think we only stayed for a week, if that, for Delta, and then we were back home. So we've been back every, ever since. And that's where I've been, y'all. <laughs> we've been running from hurricanes. But we're back now, hurricane season ends in, I think the first part of November, like it's October 22nd. I don't think we're gonna be having any more hurricanes, so I'm gonna try and get back to this once a week uploading again okay y'all i'm back hopefully to stay and i'll see y'all in the next one because i think i told y'all everything that happened I told y'all everywhere we stay told y'all about these bands oh and these bands they were supposed to be like whatever hotel you went to they just they just scanned this and you were able to get a room, but that wasn't even the case, y'all. I really don't know what these bands was for. They were like pointless, like real pointless. We were pretty much the only ones at the height that had these bands on. Yeah, so I don't, I don't know. But yep, I think that's it. I'll see y'all the next one, y'all. Bye.
Thank you.